Hi, in this video I'll show you a new feature that we have created in the SAP PI PO testing tool. This is about easy configuration. So what is ERT? Uh, ERT is an application that allows you to collect messages from your productive SAP PI PO system because that is where I believe that the best messages are because you know they are normally right. Then you can replay those on your local uh, development QA box uh, to verify mapping and everything else is the same. So this is really good if you're doing regression testing, uh, for migration it also works. And if you're developing new interfaces, obviously you can also do the testing uh, and getting messages from your test system and verify that it works uh, the same way. So the, the challenge that I had was when I looked at the, the customer journey, then there was some a lot of steps that could take a long time depending on the, the organization and what you had. So I wanted, and one of these steps was the installation part. Um, so it's installed by installing two SCA files on your development system, and then you had to do some configuration, and that would both be in user management and in the application. And we wanted to simplify this as much as possible. So now we created a Vizard that I believe everybody would be able to run and set up the system in, I think it will take two or five minutes. So you simply just go to the ERT homepage and then you're guided through the full process. Hope you like it. See the demo here. Okay, so this is how it works. I'm now logged in as a normal user. I have administrative access. And as I say, I go to the configuration tab and I will go to the configuration tab. And then I get a visit for, for defining these things here. So to configure this, we must have the admin role and we can then add this role to you. Obviously this requires that you have access to provide yourself with, with roles, but I do have that here in this uh, case. Then we want to create a test user for ERT and we, this user would have these roles for it to work uh, correctly. So now the user has been created. We can then do the configuration of the system and verify that all of these URLs is correct. It will guess uh, what these values should be like if it can if not well you have to figure them out yourself uh, but there's links on how you can get these data then you just click test uh, we don't want to save the password and then we just refresh and we can see hey we got uh, the testing data done and it's okay so we see save so now we have configured our system now we need to give users access to, to this uh, system. So here we can see every, all developers with the uh, XI developer role. Um, and then we can just go through them and say, ERT operator and say save. And now we have added these things and we can do our first test. So we'll go to our the object page. We then need to synchronize all the data so we're getting the latest from the uh, integration directory about all the different icos we have on this uh, channel. So we can see we got this number of messages. So now I've synchronized the directory. Next up is I want to select one ICO I want to record on. So I select record messages, do it automatically. I want to get two messages from this. Oh, we need to enter a title. Save. And then we have to select. We want to start our recording. It would then out automatically add the module and we can see it's waiting here. So we will just get some messages processed and we can then go back and see how many messages we got. We can see they are done. We have recorded two inbound and two outbound messages. We can then set processing finished 
And now we have created test cases that we can run on any system. And we now run them on the same system. And we can then see the result here. We got an error. We can view the results. We can view what are the difference between this. So there's something about today here was, was different. Um, and then we can set up an XPath and or a text case ignoring that will ignore these uh, elements. And with that, we would be able to figure out how do we ignore these uh, elements. So this was how you're using the, the tool. I hope you find it uh, interesting. If you want to learn more, I hope you found that interesting and, and a good fast way to set up a test case. If you want to learn more and figure out more detail about what the tool can do, go to fitgov.com forward slash IRT. There you'll also be able to download this trial, try it out on your own system. Otherwise, watch the video that will give you a bit more detailed insight about what's really going on behind the IRT.